Hey, hello. Whoa, it's me. Um, excuse the fingers, like the fingernails. I did paint them really nice the other day. But, you know, sorting through jewellery. And also, I used Jack Will's nail polish. And, um, it's a bit rubbish, to be honest. Anyways, I promised the other day that I would go through some of the stuff that I bought at the car boot sale and while I was down, like, staying in Bristol the other day. So... I spent seven pounds on this box, which had like cufflinks and um, like just little bits and bobs in there, and then twenty pounds in a charity shop on a bag of stuff, um, fifteen pound on a bag of stuff that Carla picked me up, and then five pounds on another bag of stuff from a car boot sale, plus a couple of other little bits and bobs. I can't do the maths and add that up. Um, I did find one bit of gold in there, it was a gold chain necklace and that was two and a half grams so that was cool, so that probably paid for the majority of that anyway, these are the other bits and bobs in here bits that I've kind of picked out that I want to sell separately the box is really quite nice anyway I mean, that's, you know, I mean I know it's a bit tarnished on top but I think it's a lovely sturdy oak box maybe, I don't know Anyway, so these are some of the bits that uh, I picked out that are going to be things that I think that I would probably sell separate or might go into little lots of vintage stuff or just bits that I found interesting. So let's have a little rummage, shall we? Right, first off, you might notice this. And this I just thought, like, the colours and the stones on it were really nice. Like, you see that little gold stone there that's, like, a bit sparkly and stuff. And then these, I think it's all glass. Um, that might not be glass, that might be some kind of stone. I don't know, but I just thought really quite interesting. And that would be something that I sell separate. Like that. And it feels really nice in your hands as well. So that's something that's quite cool. Very sneaky weekend. I also had like another sneak bangle which I'm looking into and a snake ring so it was very much a snaky kind of theme in all this and um, this is just a little wrap bangle it's not silver it's not marked or anything I'm not sure if it's particularly old and it doesn't sit particularly well but it's still kind of cool and it's got little green eyes the light is just hitting at the wrong place isn't it so if I do like that you can't it's all in shadow but sorry about that um, but yeah, it's kind of interesting, articulated. I'd probably sell it separate, but I don't know whether it, it's more like an upper arm kind of thing. But it's sort of twisted in the wrong way and maybe it needs twisting back into the right way, I don't know. A little pocket watch here. It's missing, obviously, like a chain coming from there. I think this is what's called a full hunter, I'm not sure. And then I think if, if it hasn't got the thing on it, is it a half hunter? I'm not quite sure with watches. I haven't tested it, I haven't put a battery in it. It is Seconda, which obviously is a good make. It's got a lovely nice like machine turning in there. So that probably is something that, I don't know, it might be worth me putting a battery in. You can see it's been kind of attacked before where someone's tried to levy it off and maybe put a battery in and I'm not sure whether I'd want to try that I mean look there's a big old gouge there but maybe I'll just sell it as like a spares and repairs thing I'm not quite sure I've got another watch here it's got a lovely colour on it um, and that's probably a gold plate on there so it's a lovely nice like dark kind of gold so obviously a lady's watch again haven't tested it it says on it limit quartz i doubt if that's going to be like a decent brand so that'll probably end up in a vintage watches lot that's quite nice see lovely and sparkly nice and shiny that's something i'd sell separate even though it's got a tiny little bit of tarnishing on there i sold one very similar to this had a lot of tarnish on it and I think I only took about four pounds on it but it went to some fashion designer in London they've got their own oh, house or something I can't remember what it was called um it's like 
bonkers designer and don't know what he was using it for but I'm just kind of cool that it's gone to a fashion designer like that well that's something special they're obviously wanting to use it for something brass kind of pendulums but I think these are for dowsing you know for like finding water or you're gonna have a baby so I would take the strings off them because the strings are obviously quite mangled and just sell them as a pair as they are no idea on the kind of prices on those but I figure that's worth a go this little artisan handmade I think it's, um, I don't know whether that's leather or papier mache, plastic, really not sure. Maybe like a hard leather, I don't know, but with like bits cut out and inlaid and stuff. And I just thought that was quite cool and unusual. Something a bit weird. I'll probably sell that, sell that one separately. And then some jingly jangly balls. Everybody loves a jingly jangly ball, surely. Uh, it doesn't. Oh, it says made in Taiwan, so obviously quality. So made in Taiwan, I don't know, 60s, 70s. That's wood, but I think it's made. Oh no, it's probably bamboo, isn't it? That's a bit of bamboo. So that might end up in a vintage lot, I reckon. Um, a little probably stainless steel tie pin with a chain the chain is probably meant to be attached and a bit longer to that so that'll probably go into a vintage slot as well I like a, a nice sparkly necklace like art deco style necklace so this is one on a chain these very like I've never seen one of these that's actually silver so I don't ever expect really to see one that's silver. I don't think it is, but that's a nice little Bobby Dazzler. That is super pretty. That is something that I would sell separate. As is that one. So that one probably more recent. It's got a little bit of sparkle in the clasp there as well. I wouldn't be surprised if that's quite modern actually. These, I've had plenty of these in the past, but never one of this colour. I normally have black. This is like papier-mâché layers, and then these are all hand-painted on. And as you can see, there's like a little butterfly that's been stuck on there, and it's signed as well. You tend to get a few quid more for ones that are signed. This is what Josh pointed out to me. He was like, oh, fish, that's good, isn't it? Fish. Um, and when you say good, I mean, it'll get you a couple of quid. Unfortunately, this has got a broken clasp on it. It's a little bit stiff and the pin won't go in properly. But I can probably fix that. But it's a cute enough design. I think they're little... Is it walk? It's not walk kids. Lilies? Snowdrops, possibly. I don't know. But it's cute enough anyway. I know this is from Carla's lot because this is one of the things that she sent a photograph of for me. So this is for King and Empire, the services rendered. So um, this is um, King before Queen, before Queen Liz. George, the stuttery one, the one in that film, not Guy Pearce, Guy Pearce's brother. Is it that one? King George the Fourth, I think. Anyway, I think, I mean, I'm... Do you know what? It's one thing that we never actually learnt in schools is kings and queens and things. So, I genuinely don't know. But obviously it's easy enough to research that, isn't it? A little sparkler, which I'm quite tempted to fix. Just put a little chain in there. But look at that lovely bit of... It's only painted on the top. So it's glass and then foil back and then it's painted on the foil. But that is super pretty. And if I don't fix it, then it'll go into a, a vintage broken lot for someone else to have fun with. Um, this is something that I would normally kind of pass by. And it's only because I saw a signature in there. And who is the signature now? It's a, it's a something original. Hang on, let me get my loop. So 
Sorry, I should have prepped a bit more, shouldn't I? Right. And it says, like, Robert, original by Robert. I think it's 1970s. So just look out. Like, even, you know, these kind of simple enamel bangles that I would normally pass over could be something. They do get a couple of quid. It is a slightly misshapen, so I will have to kind of bend it back into shape a little bit. But that's something kind of cool. I like this ring. I think this is layers of laminated wood. And then it's just been sort of carved and... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, sanded down, that's it. So I think that's kind of unusual. Unusual enough for me to sell separately anyway. And then this is like one of the little pins that was in this box originally. Again, you can't see because of the bloody light. But this is the Association of Association Teachers of Dancing National. No, National Association of Dancing Teachers. Bronze medal. National Association Teachers of Dancing. Bronze. Well, there we go. So. There'll be someone out there that is looking for exactly that, I reckon. This is one that I pulled out of a box and I sold and I bought separately. I think I spent a pound on this. That's glass. It's not actually banded agate. It's just glass, but it's got a lovely colour on it. Probably 1970s, but unsigned. But that is a super lovely brooch. Definitely something I'd sell separate. Another unusual ring there. This is... Yeah, this is glass, and it's like carved faceted glass. So again, just something unusual, something that I would sell separately, just because it's a bit bizarre. I have no idea when something like that would be made. Right, a locket What with what looks like it's meant to be amber on there. Um, again, where's my testy my <coughs> test face? Four. There we go. Do -do -do. One of them. So, if it's iridescent, as in like if it glows in the dark, gives back off light, then it's amber. But it does. It's not giving back any light at all. So that is just plastic. So that will probably go into a vintage lot. It's obviously not hallmarked or anything because it's not gold and you can kind of tell. It's too lightweight to be gold. It's probably stainless steel. I mean, or, I don't know, copper. Something lightweight anyway. But it's still nice, so it's still sellable. I just don't have a chain to put it on. <laughs> a little articulated fish. Now, I've looked this up. It's 1970s and it's originally a key ring. I think... I would imagine there would be charms hanging from there, but in the photograph I've seen, there are no charms hanging from that either. But that might be one I sell separately just because it's quite bizarre. Look at it. Fun. And that one. Alright, this. Um, where's. Right, this is Avon, and sometimes Avon has. A little tag on it which is like a pointed oval and that's for more recent Avon but Avon but I think this is a bit older this comes off and see it's a little perfume bottle and that obviously unscrews and that absolutely stinks and it's gross so God knows what was in there I wouldn't want to wear it but there's a few quid in that I think just because it's an unusual piece Oh, I said the word peace. I hate it when people use the word peace. Sorry. Um, but yeah, come autumn time, I think that'll be quite a cool and unusual thing for someone to own. <laughs> that'll go into a vintage lot. A little horse's head. A bit of... That's just plastic on there, and then that's been painted on. But something fun. Some rings, like 70s modernist rings, they'll go into a vintage lot. 
as well that one. Uh, it's not silver or anything. There's no stamps on it. But it is vintage, it's just a little bit on the wonk. Some more little badges here. We've got a little butterfly. And that says made in Hong Kong, so that's possibly like 1950s or 60s. Little sailboat. They're quite cute. And we've got a little heart. I'm sorry, I don't know obviously what that says. I'm guessing it's um, Arabic. Um, well, that looks like a Chinese character at the top there, but I don't know. I don't think it's sterling or anything. Again, it's very, very lightweight. Oh, yeah, scarab. You see these every so often. They don't go for loads, but people do like them. Especially if they're different colours. I've had a few white ones and then I sold a green one the other day, I think. And now this is a nice blue one. I think they're touristy things, but people like them. They don't go for loads, but you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, some earrings. And I just thought that these were kind of interesting earrings. If I can find the other one. There we go. Again, just glass. And I don't think the findings are going to be silver on them, but I just thought they're a really nice colour. And that is something that I would sell separate. Faceted glass there. They just look quite unusual. Maybe handmade, maybe not, maybe a tourist piece. I don't know. Uh, this. Got a few different kinds of stones on here by the looks of it. Moss agate. Obviously agate. And then a little chunk of quartz crystal there. Handmade, must be handmade. With like Tibetan silver findings on it. So that'll probably find its way into a vintage lot. As will probably these. Where's the other one gone? You can probably see it and I can't blend and see it. So again, don't think it's silver and I have no idea what that is. But it's unusual, so I'll put them into a vintage lot. Because it gives someone else a chance to do a little bit of research, have a little bit of fun themselves. And it saves me doing it. <laughs> this one, SPQR. Now that looks like it should be some kind of war thing. And I think it's something to do with a game. I don't know. Again, further investigation. I'm sure there's a couple of quid in that. Okay, nice necklace. Nice, flat, gold-plated necklaces. They are um, on vogue at the moment, and this is particularly nice. It's not lost any of its plating. You can't see any of the um, underneath metal coming through. The clasp on it is really nice. It sits really nice around the neck. I would hope for about a tenner on that one at least, 10, 12 pounds. It's a nice example, as is this one. However, there is a little bit of wear on the clasp, but this one's got a name on it. This is Napier, and this is probably 1970, so it's Napier signed on there. But again, I would hope 12 to 15 on that one, even though it's a bit of tarnishing, but there's a lovely pattern on that. So that's an okayish one. This is another probably 1970s. It's got a little letter there. It's either an E or a W. The E might be an electroplate. I don't know. It's missing its little safety chain there. Um, possibly, yeah, possibly gold plated. That will probably end up in a vintage lot as well. As will this. This will be stainless steel. Can't see any marks on it, and whatever kind of gold tone on it is rubbing off because you can see around there where people, someone's been wearing it. Oh, it has got a little bit of markage on it. Let's see. Um, 18 carat rolled gold plated, so there is like minimal gold in this tiny bit of gold, but 
nothing to write home about. But that'll end up in a vintage lot, I should imagine. A Stratton tie pin. So unless it's something really cool and unusual, such as this crown green bowling one, which I will sell separate, because that's quite a, an odd one. That's very specific, isn't it? That's Stratton. This is also Stratton, but that Stratton will probably go into a little lot along with, say, like that and a couple of other tie pins and clips and things. Cufflinks, general man type bits, you know. This, I don't remember why I pulled this one out. I think I wanted to test to see if that bit was silver. So I'm going to leave that aside because you never know. Uh, same with these as well. I don't think that's actual turquoise. I think it's probably dyed howlite. But unfortunately that has broken. So I'm going to test to see if those bits are silver. And if they are, I'll take off the bits of silver and I might put them back into my scraps. Oh, by the way, I took all of my gold and silver um, bits because I didn't like it being in the house. And I went and scrapped it in and I found, well, you know, sold it to a proper jeweller. Um, not all the bits that I've listed, obviously, and there's a few bits that I'm going to list. But quite a lot of it I took into a jeweller's and they also very kindly... There was this one beautiful necklace, and I'll watch it on Seller Ladies. I'll wear it on Seller Ladies tomorrow. Beautiful necklace. Silver, but it had no hallmarks on it, and it was broken. And um, there was big clear stones in it, which means that there was probably only about four grams of silver in it, and not really worth scrapping, because I'd get, what, like, you know, pound <laughs> for it, scrap value. But... Um, it was so nice and I was like, oh, I really don't want to trade, you know, like scrap that one in. It's really nice. And so, bless them, they took it off me. They fixed it and they, um, like, they had to move like a station round or like a ball round and stuff and file a bit down and then polish it. And then they brought it back to me and it was like a new necklace. I'm like, oh my God. And completely for free. So I'm like, I, I just think they're lovely. Really, really nice. And I got a decent price on my stuff and they were also because I said about how obviously I don't like keeping things at home you know being on the internet and everything and um, they suggested a safe but an off-site safe as in like with a company that looks after things professionally so that is what I'm gonna do next probably tomorrow so that's quite exciting in the morning. Oh, another one of them association of... Oh, was there two? Well, I could have got, no, I've got two. That's two bronze medals. Of course, because they would have won it as a pair. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I won't be keeping anything on site now that's of any value other than me and my cat. <laughs> right, this is... Yeah, and I just thought that was a really cool idea. So they've basically... It's not like pawning it in... They keep a record of, and you keep a record of all the stuff that they keep and the weights and everything and stuff like that. Um, and I think they let you know, like, if, say if you've got, like, I don't know, a nine carat gold bracelet in there weighing 10 grams. And say if the gold prices go really up, they can, you know, you can contact them or they contact you and go, like, do you want to sell that bit in? And then they'll just transfer you the, like, the money to your account. Like, um, you don't even have to do anything. Just go, yeah, take that one. I just thought that was really cool. Anyways, um, this is Jewel Craft, also known as Coro. And this is a Ten Commandments bracelet, charm bracelet. Um, made in England. It's got loads of really cool charms on there. And I've seen one of these go for a 40 something pound auction. So that'll be obviously something that I sell separate, that's quite cool. We've got here, I haven't tested this one for silver yet. I'm not sure if it will be because I can't see any uh, marks on it. But it's all French places and these are like the shields for those places. So we've got like Lorraine, Nancy, Verdun, uh, Baladou, uh, Commercy and Toul. 
probably said they're more wrong. But um, that's somewhere, something that I would look up anyway. Nice little souvenir piece. Wouldn't expect loads from it. Probably 1920s or 30s or 40s or whatever. But yeah, I don't expect it to be silver, but I still expect a few quid for that. Kind of cool. Right, definitely silver is this. Hall marked inside there and hall marked there as well. Unfortunately, as you can see, a lot of dings in it. Ding, 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 ding. So this hasn't been treated very well at all. And there's me dropping it. And that's a real shame because it's actually quite pretty. So, and it's not something that I want to scrap because it's lightweight. You won't get a lot of scrap for it. I would say that's probably about four or five, six grams. Not a lot at all. So not really worth scrapping, but too pretty to scrap. So I might just auction it off because it could be a specific year date and manufacturer that someone might like and they might not mind not having like a perfect version because it means they get it a bit cheaper. But it's just a shame. I won't scrap that because it's too nice to scrap. Another little charm bracelet. Again, I don't think this is silver. I haven't tested it yet. But it's got cute little charms on it. There's a puss in boots there, some dancing feet, a little bagpiper, lighthouse, some ballet dancers, um, a little teapot and Big Ben. So, yeah, just something quite cute. Again, don't think it's silver, but the charms on it are really quite sweet. So that would be something that I would sell. York Minster. I'll probably give that to my mum. <laughs> this is cool. Whoever owned this box, because these ones came in the box, really liked dancing. So we've got a Disco Dance Award. And uh, can you see that one? Looks like John Travolta on there. So that'd be something I sell just because it's kind of good fun. A little heart charm. Can't see any marks on it, but it's quite heavy. So I'm going to test that as silver. I'm going to put them, because there's still things left to test, aren't they? I'll put them in and that. Uh, I've had this pair of earrings before. This is Sphinx in a morning style, Victorian morning style. I think I sold these for £8 before and they are signed on the back. These are lovely cufflinks, it's just a shame that the foil that backs them, um, it's sort of coming away from the glass, so they're not perfect, but they are bloody gorgeous, so I'll still sell them, just not as much as for what I would originally hope to get for them. And then these are quite cool, they almost look like something military, they're probably going to be modern and something silly now, but something I will look up. Not signed. If you recognise them, let me know. But they're kind of fun. And some more cufflinks. 70s modernist. A little bit of brushed gold plate there. I think that's signed on the back. Yeah, I think that's signed Sphinx. Possibly. But they're quite cool. I quite like them. Lovely ring here. Look at that. Oh, and lovely hair. But um, you see, it's like rainbow glass in there. That is super pretty, and that is something that I would sell separately. I don't think it's silver. Can't see any marks, and doesn't give me reason to believe it's silver. And I also think that there would have been a stone in either side there possibly that's come out. I'll test it anyway. We shall see. Right, we've got some odd little bods here. I don't think they're anything. And a couple of half pennies from back in the day. A solo earring, which will go into my solo earring group for crafters. Biggles Air Police Pin. That's kind of fun. I'll look that up. That might be a thing. 
again that looks I don't know military not military what am I thinking I don't know but it's a type in I'll see if I can find something are they like fleur de lis across with fleur de lis I don't know a St Christopher's Traveller's Painter and Saint I doubt if that's silver it's it's extremely lightweight it's probably more like a plastic and then this little mother of pearl on a gold tone pendant so that'll probably go into a broken vintage lot for someone else to fix and deal with this I was wearing the other day because I thought it was really really nice textured gold plated 70s probably bracelet I really like that that is something I would sell separate but like look at that lovely detail on there like all of the chains are kind of pressed in and interwoven and stuff and I think it's just really nice. It doesn't have a maker's mark or anything like that on it, which is a shame. But super lovely. Bunch of chains. Quite heavy, but again, I think probably gold plated. I don't see any marks on it, even like a gold plated mark. But I'll put that on my to test. I'll put this one on the test, but to be honest, I can see the, um, oh yeah, and there you go, you can see it around there, but it's a silver tone metal underneath with a gold tone on the back. I'll test it to see if it's silver, because you never know, but I very much doubt it, so that will probably just go into a vintage lot. And then same with this one, it's quite lightweight, oh, actually no. Mm. Um, but again no marks on it very much doubt it's going to be anything but I'll put it in my test because you never know it's what I found out today some bits that I thought weren't gold were and things I thought were gold weren't and people can sign anything you know but yeah that'll go in my test pile as well um, oh yeah look at these lovely sparkly clip on earrings probably 1950s Actually, it would be uh, 60s because of the Aurora Borealis coating on there. Or late 50s, but they're really pretty. Some nice little enamel Macintosh style drop earrings. Again, not going to be gold because it's got that textured back as well. It's probably from past times, I should imagine. They sold a lot of things like that. But that's really nice. A random cufflink for my collection of random cufflinks. I do surprisingly have one. This is quite nice. This is silver. It's stamped 925 there and Italy on the back there. Now this is something I didn't know until today. Italy don't have to officially hallmark anything. Um, in Italy it's a voluntary thing. So I had something that had like made in Italy or like an Italian name on it and she and the lady was like oh yes it probably wouldn't be hallmarked I'm like oh okay so things that I might have dismissed before just because they said made in Italy but haven't had a hallmark might actually have been silver and gold and I've missed out so don't make the same mistake peeps okay get them tested anyway but yeah this is quite nice it's a modern piece I said piece again I'm really sorry but yeah, a little heart link, so that one I'll sell. And then these I absolutely bloody love. These are proper art deco. Look at the construction on this, of these earrings. You can tell it's art deco. It's, it's like the same people that made the Empire State Building made this. Like, oof. They are just, just beautiful absolutely gorgeous earrings look at them sparkle they're not silver they're going to be probably stainless steel but their construction is absolutely amazing and i'd be so tempted to keep them myself actually because i really really super duper love them yay so yeah that's everything that um i picked out from this weekend so let me know what you want to buy no i'm kidding uh, let me know what your favorite bits are and whether you think I did alright, I think I did alright, I'm super duper happy. So yeah, look out on Seller Ladies on Heather's channel, 
to see me wearing my beautiful silver necklace. And until then, uh, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.